Good afternoon from the Ruby Room at Cornell Public Library. I'm Miss Jennifer, and for today's Tinker Tuesday, we're doing rainbow science experiments. So we're going to be doing two mini experience, uh, experiments today. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to make rainbow paper. And as always, I'm going to go over the uh, materials you're going to need first. You're going to want a container because we're going to need water. You're going to want um, black construction. Um, cardstock is best. You can use the inner uh, black paper, but the ca uh, cardstock will hold up the best. You need clear nail polish, and you just need water. It's pretty straightforward and easy craft. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and dive in, and at the end of the first segment, I will go over the science behind this experiment before we move on to our second one. Okay, so first step is you need your buckets. Um, you're going to want to uh, cut your paper into smaller squares. You could try your hand at doing a bigger piece of uh, black paper and getting the rainbow paper, but it'll be harder con to control. Okay, so first things first, we have our bucket. We're just gonna add a nice layer. Doesn't need to be full, but you don't want it to be empty. So just a nice layer of water, set that off to the side. So the next thing what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be um, adding our secret ingredient, which for us is nail polish. That is what's going to make our rainbow paper and create um, our scientific phenomenon that we're gonna go over, but it is um, uh, gonna be, it's, it's similar to, what we're gonna be creating is gonna be similar to, have you ever seen um, oil on the road? How it does that rainbow effect? So that's what we're gonna be creating on our paper. And you can do it multiple times you just need to keep adding your clear nail polish. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your nail polish and you're gonna let it, you're gonna drip it, do a couple drops here and there. All right, and once you have a good amount, you're gonna take your paper, drop it down. All right, push it down. and lift it up, all right? And then you can repeat that as many times as you need to get the hang of it. All right. All right, we're gonna do a closer view of our rainbow paper. It may take some time uh, to get it perfect and it will depend on your clear nail polish. The one I have seems to be a little bit plasticky, but that's okay. It still kind of works. So, you know, you might need to try it a few times before you get it perfect, but let's get a close up. So I'm gonna take my nail polish, get a drop, All right, and then the second step is I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna just push it down. So you can see, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna do that again, give it another shot. You can try like only doing one drop for sure and like play around with it. But yeah, it's not, I think my nail polish could be better. And then you're gonna clear off any extra. So I'm gonna try that again.
I've got a couple that worked out pretty good. But sometimes you just have to experiment with things. If it doesn't work perfectly, that's okay. I've got a couple more pieces of paper. I'm trying to get a perfect one. one kind of worked a little bit. Alright. I'm going to try to clear some of this old stuff. Try again. I got one more piece of paper, so we'll see if I can get it perfect. But I've got like two that are okay. Okay. All right, well, I am out of paper, but so this guy doesn't look so bad. So you can see how there's bits of rainbow in it, depending on how the light hits. This one has a nice little segment. But that is our rainbow paper. And next, we're going to talk about the science behind how this works. All right. All right, welcome back. Okay, I hope you had fun. I hope it worked for you. I think my nail polish might have been a weird consistency. Um, but hopefully your nail polish works a little bit better. But I still got results. So that's all that's important. So let's talk about the science behind this. So. When you dip your paper in the water, it's getting coated with a thin layer of nail polish. And the rainbow colors you see on your paper, like this one, are caused by thin film interference. So that is, it's a very complicated scientific phenomenon, but we're going to simplify it as best we can and the very basics, but if you want to read more, um, Google it. There's a lot of more information, but it's kind of a complex concept. But basically, you will notice that the colors on our paper change as you shift your paper back and forth. This happens because the light of the paper hits at different angles as we wrote and tape and tip it. So the colors of the rainbow um, will vary with the thickness of the nail polish on the paper. This is why uh, each piece of our paper turned out different and each one was unique. Um, this is the same effect, as I said, when um, oil mixes with water on the road on uh, rainy days and you see in on, you know, and on the road, have you ever seen that oil slick rainbow? It's the exact same phenomenon. It's also the same thing that causes um, bubbles when you blow them to have that slight rainbowish sheen. That is also the exact same phenomenon, the thin film interference. So, um, and it's on the soap bubble. So those are uh, everyday examples of this phenomenon. And of course, if you want a more in-depth um, explanation, I recommend you Google it, but it's a little bit of a, co a complex concept. The science behind it is a little complex, but I hope you had fun. Once your little uh, rainbowy papers uh, dry, you can make different um, 
you know, artwork out of them. Let's see if these will really show up best in actual sunlight. Like I'm under fluorescence, but yeah. So that is our first experiment. We made some cool rainbow paper and learned about thin film interference. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to grow a rainbow. So stay tuned for that in a second. All right, welcome back. We're ready for our second experiment. And we're going to be making our, uh, we're gonna grow a rainbow. So let's go over our materials. You need washable markers. Um, if you don't have washable markers, you can still do the experiment, but instead of water, you're going to have to use rubbing alcohol. So if you've got your washable markers, you need water, you need, uh, two plastic cups, you need plain white paper towels, uh, scissors, a ruler, and a pencil. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to set up your rainbow paper. You're gonna wanna get your piece of paper towel. All right, I'm just gonna grab a nice segment here. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to measure out on your ruler a centimeter and on two sides. This is a bit too long, so I'm going to cut it not quite in half, but pretty close to half. And you're going to do um, an inch and a half by centimeter. And you're gonna do all of the colors of the rainbow. I'm gonna go in order. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple and you're gonna color that in on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a closer look and we're gonna do a time lapse of that and then we'll move on to the next steps of our experiment. All right. All right, we're ready for the last step. So I've got my two cups. I've got to add water to them. I need that water, the water needs to be pretty high so I can touch the colored part of your rainbow. So I'm gonna go almost practically to the top. A little higher than I wanted, that's okay. Get on me. There we go, that's better. So not quite to the top, pretty, pretty close. So the next step is we've got to take our started rainbow and you're going to put it in your cup with both of the color ends inside each of the cups. And it's going to happen fairly quickly. So you can see the paper towel starting to absorb the water and which is growing our rainbow. Almost there. All right, so that is our uh, Grow Your Own Rainbow. And stay tight, and I'm gonna explain uh, the science behind this experiment. All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna go over the science behind our second experiment, which was Growing Your Own Rainbow. 
So what's happening here is a phenomenon called capillary action, uh, which is how we grew our rainbow. So capillary action is a process that moves water around. It is what plants use to move water from their roots up to their leaves, so against gravity. And capillary action is the ability to, of water to flow upwards against gravity in narrow spaces due to the forces of adhesion, cohesion, and surface tension. So capillary action uh, makes the marker dye move up the paper towel, which really what's moving up is the water mixed with the marker dye. So the water moves upward through the paper towel, uh, lifting because it's a washable dye, therefore it's uh, dissolvable in water, and it moves the dye molecules up with it, which makes it visible for us. Um, and of course, if you didn't have washable markers and you used regular markers and you used um, rubbing alcohol, because those kind of markers are based off of that, the same thing would happen. So what this experiment is showing us is capillary action, which is also used by plants to get water from their roots up to their leaves. And you can also do the same thing if you want to wad up a paper towel, make sort of like a circular tube and put it in either end of a cup, you'll also see the water creep up. Um, and if you do that circular round um, roll the paper towels, that's sort of similar to if you cut um, most plants, they have their round tubes and that's how it moves the water through. All right, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment and enjoyed making our walking, uh, similar to walking water, we've done that video where we, uh, same thing, we covered capillary action, but this time we grew in a rainbow. So I hope you had fun, and stay tuned. Next week, we're going to be making a water clock. Okay, and at the end of the month, normally we do our, um, our engineering challenges, but because it's spring break, we're going to have steam camp. So there'll be kits available, and there'll be a video... Um, the last week of the month starting um, on Monday, there'll be a video every day and there'll be a, the big kit will have each day included in it. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.